Brothers and sisters, what's going on, brothers and sisters? You know, there was a point in time in our here on our planet in our ancient history where we were grafted for war. But we warred on a different level. Okay? We were prepared for battle, which is where you get Harry Potter from. How you watch Harry Potter, they, they're teaching you how to get ready for war. We had wands and staffs and scepters. We had all different types of devices that we could use. And we were taught how to war with the different spiritual powers and spiritual energies. As time and energy progressed, certain things happened. We fell into a sleep state. All of our information and all was gathered and collected and stored away so that we wouldn't get it. They knew not to burn it because if we had burned, if they burned it, then all that information that was written down would literally just re-enter us. So they gathered everything up and they stored it away. And now this day and age that we're in now, when something happens, the first thing we want to do is grab a weapon. First thing we want to do is get physical because we've been mentally trained by an enemy Though we conquered their minds and got them speaking our language and doing the things that we did, yes, we conquered them. Then they turned around and tricked us and got us living the way that they live. We have a whole enemy who taught us how to be physical all our lives. To make sure that we were not spiritually prepared for war. They told us, oh, well, let God fight your battles. What God? What God? Let Jesus fight your battles. Who's, who's that? Nobody's fought. Nobody stood up for me. Just like they did in the Bible. And then, and then they give you all these prayers and say, just like you did with this and just like you did with that. And I remember, I remember reading those things. When I was in the Christian stage, and that was just before my awakening, and I was like, I'm praying this stuff and nothing ever happens. Nothing ever happens. And this thing about it, they, 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 crafted, they crafted us to be weak. They made sure that we didn't remember our spiritual powers, our abilities, the forces within us. As they told us over and over and over by through religion and through church paraphernalia and all religious paraphernalia that what we did in the old days was evil. It was against the will of God. It was against the will of Jesus. Yet brothers and sisters don't even realize that this Jesus guy was a mystic. <laughs> it told you in the book when the guy, whoever he was, cut off the the Roman guard's ear. This guy put his ear back on. Make you think about that, huh? Think about that. So we have been crafted, crafted by our enemies how to fight according to them. Pick up a weapon. Pull the trigger. Jab a knife. Use your bow and arrow, but don't use the powers within you. We made sure that we didn't know that this was literally could be you. This literally could be used as a wand, and we could cast spells, and we can push energies through a crystal wand. But yet, still, we see. Pictures.
painted fantasy pictures of white men with long beards and long hair with all types of scepters with a crystal ball on top of it, all kind of other staffs and scepters and wands looking the way that we were looking, acting like us, but they could never be us. But we were told that there was evil, not knowing that everything that they told us was evil actually belonged to us. You understand this? So we have been grafted by our enemies to think that we had no power. And this is when you get back to the Hebrew lights and the brothers and sisters and they, we're going to pray about this and pray about this. Now we are at war, which means at this point in time in the war, it's important for us to get, remember our powers and the energy sources of our powers. Right? Remember the crystals and how the crystals operate with us. All right? So, what we're looking at is literally a change in everything because we are now relearning how we're supposed to live. We are relearning that we're supposed to be powerful spiritual warriors pushing different powers, forces, energies from our bodies. You can use the platinum energy. You can use a nitrogen energy. You can use a, 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 a copper energy. You can use golden energy. Yes. All these different energies in, within us. You can use a silver energy. You understand that? You can use platinum energy. You can use uranium. You can use plutonium. You can use polonium. All these different energies. You can use ether. You can use platinum. I mean plasma. You can use uh, phonons, which are extremely powerful frequencies. Or you can use photons. You see what I'm saying? They made sure that we didn't know Because they needed us to be physical and not spiritual. See, like I said, that what you see in Harry Potter is a, a perfect example of what we used to do. You see uh, X-Men, Professor X, that's what we used to do. We had schools to learn how to use our abilities and our powers so that we could get ready for war. But somewhere in our ancient, in our, in our not so ancient history, one of the ancestors made a decision to cut a deal, told us to lay down our arms. And as time progressed, we forgot about who we were. And we thought ourselves to be human. When we're far beyond human. You understand this? See, right now, nobody is really prepared for war. I can't really say that I'm fully prepared for war. When we talked about that, you know, when you're in that fight or flight stage, but you know, you have to think hard. You have to graft it in your mind. Something goes down, I gotta get ready to cast a spell. I gotta get ready to say the right word. These words are deep within you. Like I said, our, our ancestors, they, they, we, we, we learned the Latin language for war. Why you think Harry Potter uses the Latin language? This is something that we did. They scouted and found out how we lived. That's when they book the Bible. They say, go, go into the land and scout the land. But they didn't say that they were actually scouting, finding out information. Say so they came back report. Say there's giants in the land. That's all they came back and said, there's giants in the land. 
they didn't say, oh, these, these beings are powerful and they, they have different powers and they can make all kind of different energies come from their vessels. Yeah. When you go to the periodic table elements, you understand, you know, you had the power of hydrogen, the power of oxygen, the power of xenon. You understand that? Yes. Yeah. The power of boron, all these different gases has got from, has, has has different energies that are attached to them, which means that you can contain so many different powers. Power of Mars, power of Venus. These are extremely powerful planets with extremely powerful energies. And these came through our bodies, our vessels. Understand this? So they made sure that we were not grafted for war. Pick up a gun. You see brothers and sisters practicing the shooting. You depend on that gun. We gotta get grafted in our minds to get prepared to be able to create our wands. The orgones played in a definite role. Just like Brother Bobby said, he said, you know, the day is coming where the atmosphere is going to change. It's going to be in our favor. But his thing about it, when the atmosphere is in our favor, it's never going to leave. It's never going to change for anyone else's favor again. It's not going to be, okay, all right, they had their time. Now it's your turn. Okay, now it's their turn again. No, it's not going to be that way. It changes and changes forever, and it, and it remains the same. And we will not allow anyone to come here ever again to trick us into being less than who we are. They made sure that we are not grafted for war. But the energy is changing. Everything is becoming more radioactive. You see the radiation that's coming from our sun. You got brothers and sisters running around talking about, oh, that's a sun simulator. There's no sun simulator. How foolish are they to believe some stupid garbage to some sun simulator? The sun has changed its energy. The planet has changed her energy. The sun's radioactive energy is so freaking intense that the sunflowers literally turn their face away from the sun because they can't take the energy anymore. They can only take but so much energy. We as the original beings, we can go up in that sun all day long because we are a part of that. But these beings wanted to make sure that we were not grafted for war. That's the main thing. They wanted to make sure that we were not grafted for war. They needed us to be um, subservient, to be docile, to be weak, to be feeble. They needed us to not know how to use spells against them. They needed us to, to, to not know that we are the original beings, that we're deities. They needed us to not know that we are the most powerful ever. You see what I'm saying? They, they, so, so, so from our ancient ancestors all the way up to now, we're not so ancient ancestors, but from our ancestors, those forefathers who, who cut the deal with these whites and Orientals, all right, from that point, when we fell all the way down. We literally, everything fell with us. And this is why these, these whites, you know, they needed us to believe that, you know, such and such was happening. When the realms, when, when we fell from our frequency, the realms that we created through our realities had disappeared. And therefore, there were brothers and sisters who disappeared. But then, same time, these whites were going through the land, killing up a lot of us. Yes, they were. And creating shallow graves, buried us in the ground. They put it in their books. As we began to kill the Negroes, we realized the planet was getting cooler. Yes. See, it's, 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 it's the radiation that's, that's building up in the air and it's our awakening and we're not allowing these beings to put us in a sleep state anymore even though they come and chime in on this page on this channel here we're not allowing them to do this anymore so now we have to graft our minds on how to fight again instead of wanting to pull out a gun
gun. Get yourself a crystal wand. It's hard to find crystal wands online. I want to find me one. I want to find me one. Um, in the ancient of days, our powers and abilities were so powerful. We knew how we we had the ability to hold served, uh, several crystals in our hand. And we could, with our bodies and the energy in our bodies, we could fuse these crystals together in our hand. Yes. We're getting the memories back. We're getting the memories back. But you have to remember that we have a there's a whole generation of beings who literally don't want us to know. Look what's happening. You, you, anyone seen the blue fire in Australia? There was, there was a fire in Australia. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Hold on here. Let me see if I can find this. Okay, here, here it goes right here. I'm just gonna show you this real quick. Here it goes right here. Let's see. Okay, so fast. This is a crazy wildfire that takes place over there in Australia, right? And these are like emergency units, I guess, rescue units going to rescue people in the fire or whatever. And family, that's like, that's not the, the crazy part. Okay, I want you guys to pay attention to the fire itself, okay? Because this is fucking crazy. I've never really seen fire like this but you guys just just check this out all right okay fam you guys see that fucking flames are blue like straight blue flame energy i've never really seen fires burn blue like they say blue is the hottest flames but usually you see that like in a torch or some kind of propane or something like that this is like a wildfire family and the fire is blue and this is intense these cats are getting massacred but anyway fam i thought you would find this interesting with this new uh energetic weekend family i'm telling you the place is sparking up and this flame is carrying the energy bro it's just like the plasma everything is more active than before you're not telling me shit yeah i'm on a, some new earth frequency but anyway if i'm just want to watch the video and let me know what y'all think in the comments because yeah it's getting serious out here new earth let's go bang bang yeah. I want y'all to see something real quick. I want you to see something real quick. I want you to look at this real quick because what happens is the flame goes from blue and then it begins to turn purple. Alright? Look at this here. Watch this. It goes from blue. It's blue right there. But then as it begins to literally become more excited, the flame turns purple. You see that? Which means that everything is changing. And these whites down there and in, in, well, over there in Australia, you know, they did a lot of damage to that land. Just like over here, these whites have done damage too. But that's a... Blue flame. Now, according to science, the blue flame is um, full of sulfur. All right. Say so the blue flame is sulfur. All right. And sulfur burns. You know when sulfur is sulfur. When sulfur burns, it burns. What is the purple flame, bro? What is the purple flame? Um, okay. Potassium. So it goes from sulfur to potassium. Potassium creates the purple flame. What makes a flame purple? Potassium salts will produce violet purple flames. All right. Um, and potassium burns very 
heart. Um, is hotter than blue. Is purple flame hotter blue? Let's see. How blue, violet flame, blue fire can reach temperatures up to 2500 to 2900 degrees Fahrenheit. The violet flames can burn upwards to 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. So in that instance, all right, um, and I'm show you the what I'm writing, what I'm reading from right here. In that instance, the fire literally accelerated, and you and, and you can look at that video and tell that the fire was chasing after those whites. It was chasing after them, and they were trying to put it out, and they couldn't put it out. So the fire went from a sulfur type fire to a potassium based fire. So the blue fire is 2,500 to 2,900 degrees, but the violet fire is upwards of 3,000 degrees and above, which that's a hotter fire. We've, we've never seen anything like that before. We haven't seen anything like that before. But you got to understand, brothers and sisters, that you know, um, we, are, we are being grafted. We are being grafted for war, and it's time that... It's time that we understand that we've got to practice daily casting energy. You know, I was doing my little thing right here and hitting this right here, but we gotta get we gotta get grafted into casting energies, doing spells. Alright. Going to bail. Going to uh uh um uh, going to all these different forces, Lucifer, Satan, these are all demonic forces that we can leak into. All right. We had knowledge of these things before. And in our sleep state, these beings wanted us to learn about George Washington and Abraham Lincoln and Ulysses S. Grant. They wanted us to learn about Jesus and Allah and Muhammad. Yes. All the things that they wanted us to learn about, but don't learn about self. Now we're starting to get back into self because the whole key point is that we have to prepare ourselves for war. Like I said before, we had the training in the olden days before that agreement was made with these whites. Let's see how long, see how much damage we can do before they fall and die and they realize that we didn't fall. That agreement should have been up a long time ago, but like I said, we're the ones who got to put it to stop. Like the question came a couple times, when it does end, when we end it. We have to remember, brothers and sisters, that in this day and age now, many of us are not prepared for war. So many of us are, are lackadaisical, docile, content. Oh, I got all these friends. All these friends, different ethnicity friends, and same, and this and this, and we're proud of you with this and with this and with this. Do you understand that you're at war? Do you understand that, like we said before, they're 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 working on passing a bill that says that their people kill our people, no matter what reason, they would not get prosecuted because they know what times are coming. The atmosphere is changing; it's becoming more radioactive. The atmosphere is becoming more conducive for us. The more radioactive the atmosphere becomes, the more powerful we become. And this is only for the original. I don't care how you feel, whatever you want to think. This is only for the original beings. No one can graft us for war. But we can only prepare ourselves. And we have to remember the olden ways. We have to remember how to cast spells. How to use the energy from our body. We learned how to use the different elements from our body. Where well, you think Dragon Ball Z came from? You think that was just regular fire? You think that was regular fire? When 
Goku hits that purple fire that's potassium that blue fire that's 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 sulfur that's something that our ancestors did they knew how to push certain gases and link it to certain gases into the at in the atmosphere and they knew how to push that energy from our from our bodies but we never burned but we burned our enemies see what I'm saying so understand we never, we, they would never want to graft us to fight against them. They needed us to be docile so they can continue to live the high life. We're changing. Call us crazy. Call us this. Call us that. We're changing. We're changing for the better. Because we got to rebuild the world the way it's supposed to be built. Not according to them. The weakest individuals across the cosmos. The only thing, thing they want to try to do is try to trick your mind. That's the only thing that they, they, they could possibly, possibly try to use. Coercion. They try to coerce you. No. We were never grafted for war, but we're going to graft ourselves for war. Like I said, in the olden days, you got X-Men. They showed you they, they had them in classes. You got Harry Potter. They showed you that we, they had us in classes teaching us how to cast spells, teaching us how to push out energies from our bodies, teaching us how to tap into the most inner part of us. Yes. And now we're returning to that. Instead of us having classes, you have sessions online, but individually we have to work as we do this, we have to work together, brothers and sisters. Let's make changes as we change our everyday lives. Everything around us changes well, which means that we're the true rulers of this realm, of this world. Yes, we are. And no one can ever conquer us. They might have tried to psych us mentally, but it's, it's no more. No more. <laughs> the foolishness of our people to actually think that they could be whatever this is that they thought they want to be. Because man can't see it. So, like I said before, brothers and sisters, we are nature. We don't have the luxury of saying I could be whatever I want to be. We don't have that luxury. We're nature. We have to be who we were manifested to be, which is nature. We are manifestation of nature in the cosmos. Yes. And we must be who we molded and shaped to be. Yes. Which means that we must return back to the old, olden ways. Understand the demonic forces, understand the angelic forces, understanding the cherubims and seraphims. See these these whites literally just literally just decimated all of our information. Bishops and deacons in a building called a church. Weak ass brothers and sisters, weak, 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 extremely weak. That we wait on God or my deacon. No, you're not. You don't have the powers of a sorcerer or a bishop. You don't have the powers of a Sith. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> so understand that these powers, these crystals and all, all belong to us. Everything belongs to us. Tap into that infinite energy, that infinite power. Brothers, sisters, you're going to find out information about yourself that you never knew. They need us to continue to try to stay, try to remain asleep and we're awakening. And the awakening is happening deeper and deeper and deeper by the day. Many of us don't see the other brothers and sisters awakening, but it's happening. Right now in the Philippines, the, 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 the water so hot, the fish are boiling. Yes, things are happening 
Are you watching what's going on all over the, all over the planet, all over the world? You better. <laughs> you better. We were never grafted for war, but now we are grafting ourselves for war. Remember your powers. Remember your abilities. Remember your strengths. Remember we, we can cast spells. We can think spells. We can cast spells. We can make energy happen. We can manifest things with our minds and our hearts. We can destroy a whole downtown complexes with just the energy from our heart alone. We can speak it. It happens, but you got to believe in yourself. Brothers and sisters, remember, we were never grafted for war, but we're going to graft ourselves for war. We're going to relearn everything that was taken away from us. All right? I'll catch you guys later. All right? All power to the most sucker. Celestial and jelly beans. Make cast rain with you forever and ever and ever. Remember, cast is everything. We're going to get ourselves together. It's going to happen fast. Much power to you all.